Hi there, and welcome to this video on A-level chemistry for the AQA specification, focusing on the topic of kinetics, and in particular, on the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution. Hi, I'm Manisha from StudyMind, where we help you to revise A-level chemistry with our helpful revision resources tailored to your subject, your specification, and to you. If you're new here, please make sure to click that subscribe button, and whilst you're watching, please leave any comments down below about anything you're unsure of. If it's your first time watching, make sure to let us know so we can send you our free revision resources. We also have helpful timestamps to guide you through the video. So, let's get started. Welcome to lesson two of five in this tutorial, covering Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution. This is the second video in our series of five lessons on the topic of kinetics. In the last lesson, we learned about collision theory, which is influenced by activation energy and correct orientation. We also know that most collisions do not lead to a reaction. We've got two key learning objectives for today's lesson. The first is to look at molecules in a gas, and the second is to look at plotting a Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution. Here is the AQA specification point we'll be covering in this tutorial. We'll be looking at the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution of molecular energies and gases. If you consider all the molecules in a gas, not all of the particles will have the same amount of kinetic energy. Some will have lots of kinetic energy, whilst others will have less. We can therefore plot a Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution graph to show the distribution of energies between different molecules. It plots the number of particles where each of the particles has got a particular energy. This figure shows a Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution. You should be able to draw, label and interpret one yourself. Additionally, you should be able to describe what is happening at each stage of the plot. We'll run through it together in this video. The area under the curve is a measure of the total number of particles present. A dotted or straight line, such as this one, is used to represent activation energy. The shaded region to the right of the activation energy line represents the, only the particles that will react when they collide. These are the particles that have sufficient energy that is more than the activation energy. The peak of the curve represents the most common energy of any single particle in the reaction. This is the mean particle energy, which is to the right of the median energy. Now, we can have a go at filling in the labels ourselves. Here are the answers. This figure shows a Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution. As we mentioned earlier, you should be able to draw, label and interpret them yourself. Here's a summary of what we've covered in this video which will become useful when you come to practicing exam questions. We've now covered the learning objective for this lesson. Feel free to skip back through the video and re-watch anything you're unsure about. We've now completed lesson two. If you liked this video, Make sure to catch our latest videos by subscribing down below and leaving a comment on a topic that you'd like to see a video on. Click here to watch more videos on our series of A-Level Chemistry or visit our website 
studymind.co.uk for past paper compilations by topic and specification.